kinds of animals, especially dolphins. We are going to check the whole dolphin's body to make sure it's healthy. Dolphin Quest is on a natural saltwater lagoon. Fourteen dolphins live here and they have a beautiful home. The dolphin trainers love them so much. They take care of them, they feed them. I've seen lots of dolphins before, but I've never touched one. Being up close with a dolphin is a dream come true. I am so excited! Before we check the dolphins, we need to get our life jackets on. Safety first! Hello, ladies! Welcome to Dolphin Quest! Here in Hawaii, we say hello by saying aloha. Aloha means love and peace. You guys, this morning we're going to be in our Hilton Main Lagoon and we're going to meet some dolphins in here. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Are we excited? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys met a dolphin before? No. No? Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to start off meeting Ipo, who's 10, and Malu, who's 8. At first, I met two dolphins, Ipo and Malu. Natalie is a marine mammal specialist at Dolphin Quest. She is excited to show us her life as a dolphin trainer. When the dolphin came swimming up, I couldn't contain my excitement. Guys, come on over! Oh, come get a big wave, hold on, just a big wave! <laughs> at first, we waved to the dolphin and he waved back. You guys, this is oh. Ipo. He turned 10 last week. He feels like rubber. He feels like rubber. Like wet rubber. Like wet rubber. <laughs> it felt like soft, wet rubber. I think he feels like a grape. <laughs> Natalie yeah, thinks yeah, the dolphin feels like a grape. Put their fins out of the water, they look like sharks. Yeah, well, do you know what this is called? A dorsal, a dorsal fin. A dorsal fin, excellent. So this is a dorsal fin for a dolphin or a shark. Now you guys, I want you all to freeze right here and this is gonna let Ipo flip around, okay? He's okay. really good at moving in this type of depth of water because he is a shallow water ecotype of bottlenose dolphin. You guys can clap for him. Yeah. <laughs> you and know, you guys, this dolphins really and cool. sharks have a little bit dorsal fins. Ipo. You just walk up and you drop it right in his mouth. There you go. I love feeding Malu. He just ate that fish Good so job. fast. <laughs> dolphins don't even chew the fish. fish. They just swallowed it whole. Bottlenose dolphins are so cute. He swallowed it. Now, you guys, this is our first session of the morning and Dolphin Quest is owned by two marine mammal veterinarians. So the most important thing to us is that the dolphins are healthy and well. So the first thing we do in the morning is we check over their whole body and that is called do Dolphin Daily Assessment. We are going to check the whole dolphin's body to make sure it's healthy. Why don't you guys come touch his tail? So when we do our daily dolphin assessment, we look over the dolphin's whole body, see if anything changed overnight. We keep really detailed records of everything going on with our dolphins, not because we're worried, but because we give them preventative health care. The first thing that I touched on the EPO was its tail. And we do that for the dolphins every single day to make sure that they always stay really healthy and well. Like, you guys, we should look at his flippers. Here, go ahead and wave at him. <laughs> that flipper looks great. What about his other flipper? <laughs> that dolphins don't have arms. They have two flippers, one on each side. Flipper also looks great. What about if we put our hand like this? Give a bigger high five. Oh, that flipper looks good, too. He even gave me a high five. Well, an air high five. <laughs> you guys, what about his mouth? We can ask him to open his mouth. Have your fingers ready like this and open him up. We made sure Malu was looking great. They've grown up learning how to participate in their healthcare life. Asking Malu to just open his mouth. It lets us look at all his teeth <laughs> <laughs> or his tongue. How cool is that? We can even check on their lungs. You guys, open and close your hand under the water. What do you see? Bubbles! Malu blew bubbles for us. This is called his blowhole. Blowhole. This is the only place dolphins breed from. Whales actually have two 
little holes, and dolphins have one. I breathe through my mouth, but not Malu. He breathes through his blue hole. So when we are doing our daily dolphin assessments, and we want to check on the dolphins, we want to check on every single part of them, their whole body, their flippers, <laughs> their lungs. The oh, should we find out? So I wondered, how long can Malu hold yeah. his breath? Okay, ready? Put two fingers up like this. Point them down. I can hold my breath for 24 now, he seconds. Is a shallow How water are you? Type of the bottlenose dolphin. So it's been recorded through research and study that he can hold his breath for about seven minutes. Wow, that's a lot yeah. longer than I can. I know, it's a lot longer than I can too. Seven minutes? That's a long time. I wish I could hold my breath that long. <laughs> but there are bottlenose dolphins called an offshore ecotype or a deep water ecotype and they can hold their breath for about 14 minutes because they live in much deeper water. But Ivo can hold his breath pretty long so you guys can clap for him. Now, one way that we check on their lungs, this is part of our daily dolphin assessment. I need your guys' help, okay? He sneezed on me. Achoo! You're all gonna put one hand right on top of mine. You're gonna just hover right on top of his blowhole. Yeah, come on. Can everyone reach? You can get your hand in there. <laughs> okay, so this is something I do all like every morning with the dolphins. You can come on in too. Can you reach? Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> you guys know what just happened? He blew on us. You guys got a dolphin sneeze on your hand. <laughs> so every day we do that to look at the quality of the air they're breathing. Does it look the exact same as the day before, the night before? And then we can make sure that they're just breathing exactly as they were from before. That's one way we can pick on them. Just like every person has a fingerprint, dolphins have something like that too. You can actually tell dolphins apart from their tail. So you guys can come over and come touch Kao's tail. Is it the white? Well, that is part of it. She inherits that coloration from her dad who lives over at Dolphin Quest Oahu. His name is Lono. But dolphins can pass on traits to one another, just like people. At the end of her tail, there's like this. This pink, she gets that from her dad, absolutely. Frick, it looks like here. Does yeah. she feel the same as Malu and Deepo? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Now, something I didn't tell you guys is that dolphins shed their skin every two hours. What? Every two hours, dolphins get new skin. Awesome! Mm -hmm. Every two hours? Every two hours, it lets them stay really fast in the water. It's really important for them because they live in the water. Because they're nice and slick. They are, yeah. <laughs> But what makes her tail really, really different from every other dolphin are these little nicks and notches right here. Do you guys see those? Oh, yeah. Now, Kay was 20, but she was born 20 years ago, and she was born with these little nicks and notches. Wow. So we know that's like her fingerprint. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Kao was born here, and so we it's our goal and our dream and our job from our owners who are veterinarians, it's my job working with them to give them the best healthcare every day. But it's been really, really important for me to think about all ocean animals and animals in general because I love these dolphins and I love animals. And I just think about how these guys are so lucky that they live here with us and get this care. So dolphins out in the wild, sometimes they get these little nicks and notches from getting stuck in the fish nets and plastics, um, or sometimes these guys live really close to boats, and so we want to be able to just do whatever we can as dolphins out in the wild, or ocean animals out in the wild. That's super important. As kids, we can all think how to protect marine animals. Even though you guys might not be throwing your trash in the ocean, what about if you see trash on the beach that isn't even yours? Do you think you can help us pick it up? Yeah. Yes, you can? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that completes our dolphin assessment today. What about if you guys I had so much hand? fun no, really checking and yeah, playing with these wonderful yeah. dolphins. All right, keep nodding, keep nodding. I am I don't totally know. committed to help dolphins. Okay, so yes, I hope okay. to see you soon at <laughs> Dolphin Quest in Hawaii. Guys.